Our big story on this Friday, lead poisoning in children. We've all heard of it happening in Flint, Michigan recently, but what about right here in Wisconsin? NBC 15's Hannah Flood introduces us to one Wisconsin mother who is trying to prevent that. That's right, John and Lee. A Green Bay mom made the trip to our state capitol today to stand with lawmakers taking steps towards reducing lead exposure statewide. After her son tested positive for lead poisoning from paint before he was even a year old, Crystal Wozniak is educating other parents about the dangers of lead poisoning. Today, lawmakers invited her to the Capitol to raise awareness of a problem they say is affecting thousands of families across the state. It's, it's somewhat scary, though, because lead is very complicated. It's not just here. It's here, 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 and there, and everywhere else. The bill lawmakers proposed today would require the state to test soil, water, and paint at a child's home when they find the child has lead in their blood at levels that are deemed unsafe by the CDC. We're just way behind um, in really um, setting forth safe standards um, for kids, and we're really behind doing the kind of testing that's needed when a child is lead poisoned. Right now, Wisconsin only requires an investigation when lead is found to be at levels three times the CDC's recommendation. Fortunately, Crystal's son made a full recovery, but lead poisoning is still an issue that's facing many Wisconsin families. Lawmakers say even if their bill isn't passed by the end of the session next week, they hope they start the conversation that will start change.